Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out One Woman, 17 British Accents. The UK is incredibly diverse in terms of accents, and it just so happens that I can do many of these accents as my party trick. So come with me as I take you on a guided tour through all of the accents and archetypes of Great Britain. All right, so before she gets into it, I can think of three separate British accents offhand. One is like the basic British accent, I guess London maybe? I'm sure there's a specific name for it, like, hello, I'm British, how are you? Very good. And then there's the Cockney accent, I don't know where that's from, but it's more like this. Hello, I'm British, how are you? And then there's a, uh, like the Beatles accent, Liverpudlian, I guess it would be called, maybe? Hello, I'm British, how are you? Something more like that. But there's 14 more, apparently. Let's see. Hi, I'm Siobhan Thompson, and this is Anglophenia, and what I'm speaking right now is RP, Received Pronunciation, or, you know, your standard BBC English. It's spoken okay. across the country, generally by middle, upper middle, and upper class people. Think of Martin Freeman, Benedict Cumberbatch, or, you know, most of the presenters of BBC News. So, good right. evening, it's nine o'clock, and this is the news, I'm very important. Okay, so I guess this is what I was calling the basic British accent. Okay, so I got one. Right? I got one. Heightened RP is generally only spoken on film and television now. So you're going to think of Noel Card or the Dodger Countess in Downton Abbey. Oh, Gerald, I do love you, but you're so terribly, terribly poor. That sounds totally different, but I'm not sure why. What is she doing that's different? Oh, 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 yes, dear. Like that? I got to listen to that again. Receive pronunciation. Okay, now listen to the first RP. one. Good evening. It's nine o'clock and this is the news. I'm very important. Good evening. It's nine o'clock and this is the news. I'm very important. It's nine o'clock and this is the news. I'm very important. It's nine o'clock and this is the news. I'm very important. I don't, I don't think I'm getting it. Heightened RP is generally only spoken on film and television. Generally. So you're going to think of Noel Card or the Dodger Countess in Downton Abbey. Oh, Gerald, I do love you, but you're so terribly, terribly poor. Oh, Gerald, I do love you, but you're so terribly, terribly poor. Why is that different? I think maybe my mouth, like the upper lip, is tighter or something. Oh, Gerald, you're so terribly, terribly poor. It's nine o'clock, and this is the news, and I'm very, very important. Hmm. Let's keep moving on. Now, London is the accent that most people outside of Britain can recognise. You That's know, that, that one. classic lock, stock and two smoking barrels. Go out of my pub. Go on, go out of it. Shut it, you tart. Shut it, you tart. So this is Cockney, I guess? East Anglia is a flat, boggy kind of place with a flat, boggy kind of accent. I'd love to give you an example of somebody that comes from there that speaks like this, but they all lose this accent as soon as they can. Stephen Fry's from Norfolk, but he doesn't speak like this because he's posh. Here's a kind of classic <laughs> kind of East Anglia phrase. I done drop my computer in the fan and it's broken. I done drop my computer in the fan and it's broken. That kind of reminds me of a Pennsylvania accent in America where they say warder and so It sounds different, but I'm having a really hard time figuring out why exactly. I done drop my computer in the fan and it's broken. Now let's broken. go across the island to the West Country, which is a much rounder sound. It's farmland rounder. for sheep and cows and apples. Think of like Sam Ganji from the Lord of the Rings or Lord Hagrid of the from Rings. the Harry Potter movies. Harry oh, you Potter. bloody kids, get off my land! Or, oh, Mr. Frodo, don't let him turn me into anything unnatural. Oh, Mr. Frodo, don't let him turn me into something unnatural. No, I'm not getting it. Oh, you bloody kids, get off my land! Oh, you bloody kids, get off my land! Oh, Mr. Frodo, don't let him turn me into anything unnatural! Oh, Mr. Frodo, don't let him turn me in... No. Can't do it. This lady's good. And then when you go down to Cornwall, it gets a little bit more piratey. So, hoist the mizzen mast, Squire Trelawney! Hoist the mizzen mast, Squire Trelawney! I don't know what I just said. 
Now, if Southern Welsh is this great sing-songy kind of an accent, think of Tom Jones or Richard Burton. Sing-songy. You know, rage, rage against the dying of the light. Pla- rage against the dying of the light. Rage against the dying of the light. Richard Burton. Richard. You know, rage, rage against the dying of the light. Bloody hell, I love Dylan Thomas. Bloody hell, I love Dylan Thomas. Northern Welsh is where the singer Duffy is from. It's a breathier, thicker kind of an accent. And most breathier. people from there speak Welsh at home and English is a second language. So, you know, Diochelvauer. Diochelvauer. That sounds German. Speak Welsh at home and English is a second language. They speak Welsh at home and English is a second language. Eh? Now cross the country to the West Midlands and cross Birmingham. It's a very nice old kind of an accent, mostly on account of all the industry that went on in that area. Cat Daly, who presents So You Think You Can Dance, is from there. And so is Ozzy Osbourne, you know. Sharon, where's the bloody remote? Yeah, that place that he <laughs> does isn't because of drugs, it's just where he's from. It isn't because of drugs, it's just where he's from. It isn't because of drugs, it's... It isn't because of drugs, it's just where he's from. <sighs> sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that voice that he does isn't because of drugs, it's just where he's from. It's just where he's from. Scouse is your classic Liverpool accent. The Beatles are from there and so is Paul McGann. They were also made European capital of culture a couple of years ago by the EU. So don't tell me they're not culture, alright? So don't tell me they're not culture, alright? So don't tell me they're not culture, alright? So that's called Scouse. I thought it was Liverpudlian. It's called Scouse. Cool. Up into Lancashire, and you know, think of Christopher Eccleston, or most of the cast of the Downstairs in Downton Abbey. Daisy, get those buns out the oven before they burn. Daisy, get those buns out the oven before they burn. Daisy, get those buns out the oven before they burn. Buns. Oh, Mr. Bits. Oh, Mr. Bits. So, across the Pennines to Yorkshire, so. it's a much kind of flatter accent from Lancashire and they cut off a lot of the words. So, I'm going to pub up hill. I'm going to pub up hill. I'm, I'm going to pub up hill. And they cut off a lot of the words. They so cut I'm off going a lot to of the words. Up hill. Think of Sean Bean from Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones. One does not simply walk into Mordor. One does not simply walk into Mordor. I do hear how she says they cut off the ends more. <laughs> so in Northumberland and Newcastle, they speak in a Geordie accent. So Newcastle. you have to get the Geordie Shore or Carol Cole. Remember, she got fired from the X Factor because nobody could understand a word she was saying. Or Billy Elliot. All I want to do is dance ballet, but my dad makes me box. All I want to do is dance ballet, but my dad makes me box. Edinburgh is the capital of Scotland. It's a very Edinburgh. soft, maybe a little snooty kind of an accent. Snooty. Think of Ewan McGregor or Dame Maggie Smith as Professor McGonagall. That's ten points taken from Gryffindor, Mr. Porter. That's ten points taken from Gryffindor, Mr. Porter. Glasgow is a much thicker kind of an accent. Billy Connolly and Peter Capaldi are both from there. Glasgow. They cut off a lot of the words, so uh, I haven't any butter, so I've got to go to the shop, you know. I haven't got any butter, so I've got to go to the shop, you know. Uh. And so up to the very north, to the highlands of Scotland. Think of Amy Pond from Doctor Who. Or maybe Sir Robert Burns. The best Burns. laid plans of mice and men gang after glee. The best laid plans of mice and men gang after glee. <laughs> Apologies. I'm so sorry. I'm butchering this. Now let's go to Northern Ireland. And it's all about the vowels with the Northern Irish vowels. accent. Like, so like, how now, brown cow? How now, brown cow? Liam Neeson is from there. I've got a very particular set of skills. I've got a very particular set of skills. I know he doesn't say it in that accent in the movie, but it sounds well called, so, like... And finally, Southern Ireland is obviously not a part of the United Kingdom, but I can do a Dublin accent, so let's just do it. Uh, it's a pretty classic Irish accent with a lot of assonance to it. So Sinead O'Connor is from there. Nothing compares. 
Nothing compares to you. Nothing compares. No. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to you. That's bad. I'm, this is bad. Uh, rest in peace, Sinead O'Connor. A wonderful talent. That is all from me. Tell me if there's any British accents that I missed <sighs> because I love a challenge. That was 17? My gosh. And they were all different. That's pretty amazing that she can do that. Very impressive, Siobhan. Siobhan? Siobhan. I'd be interested to know why some of those accents developed. Maybe different social classes trying to separate themselves from the others, or education, I guess, would probably be a big thing. Really interesting video. Thank you for recommending. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later.